give a brief description of machine design. In our daily life, we come across different types of machines, such as fan, washing machine, automobiles, etc. All these machines are designed to perform a definite function. But have you ever thought how these machines are designed? To design any kind of machine, lot of imagination, innovation, research, processes, etc. are involved. Creating a plan to design a machine which performs a specific function is called machine design. It involves obtaining the specification and dimensions of a machine required for its desired function. Thus, we can say that machine design is the process of obtaining the dimensions and specifications of a machine required for its desired function by utilizing the imagination, scientific principles and engineering techniques. Machine design can be classified as adaptive design, development design and new design. Let us briefly discuss about each of these designs. Let us start with adaptive design. Consider two different table fans. Looking at the second fan, we can clearly say that it is the modified version of the first fan. Here the second fan has been designed by modifying the first fan. Such type of design where the latest design is obtained by modifying the existing design is called adaptive design. Thus, in adaptive design, the design parameters of the existing machine is adopted by making little modifications in the existing design. Note that adaptive design does not require special knowledge or skills. It can be attempted by the designers through ordinary technical training. Now let us discuss about development design. Consider a table fan and a ceiling fan. No doubt, both these fans serve the same purpose. But to get the air from the table fan, one has to sit near it. On the other hand, a ceiling fan can be placed on the ceiling and one can get air from it being anywhere inside the room. To design a ceiling fan, the designer has used the same basic working principle of the existing table fan, but he has changed the idea. Instead of using it in the table, the fan can be used on the ceiling and it can cover more space. Such type of design is called the development design. Thus, in development design, the basic working principle of the existing machine is used in order to develop a new machine with improved quality. Note that development design needs scientific training and design ability in order to modify the existing design into a new idea. And now let's discuss about new design. Consider an air cooler. This machine looks completely different from the table fan and ceiling fan. Here the designer has designed the machine from the scratch using different scientific theories and engineering techniques. Such type of design is called a new design. Thus, in new design, a completely new machine is designed by using certain scientific theories and engineering techniques. Note that new design needs a lot of research, technical ability and creative thinking. While designing a machine, a designer needs to take certain important points into consideration. These points are listed as follows. Related terms are 